going all over the place. KOK Worldwide in 2018. KOK World Championship 2018, ladies and gentlemen, next KOK is Super Fight. Weight division plus 93 kilograms. Blue Colonel, fighter representing Belarus, Oleg Zablotsky. It's time for the heavyweights here at the King of Kings World Grand Prix, edition 56. Oleg Zaplotsky of Belarus, set to take on Maxim Bolotov of Moldova. These are two heavy hitters, guys. Let me tell you what. They grow them big and they grow them thick in Belarus. A lot of kickboxing fans know about some of the gyms in that country, some of the fighters that they have produced. Oleg Zaplotsky, the 30-year-old, comes in with a record of four and two, and he's a lot less experienced than his Moldovan opponent. And so on paper, he's at a slight disadvantage as far as experience and also height is concerned, being three centimeters shorter. But you know as well as I do, after the bell rings, you can throw the statistics out the window in a lot of different cases. That guy knows it as well as I do. Heavyweight action here at KOK. Maxim Bolotov's a guy you gotta love. I mean, every time he steps into the ring, he brings the fight. I've never seen a boring Maxim Bolotov fight in my life. The 33-year-old has a record of 14-4-2, and, and he has got power, big power. Does the heavyweight Moldovan fighter. He was successful against Habib Abragamov back in December by TKO. And he's got some dance moves too. I almost danced his way right off the, the ramp. <laughs> Breaking it down on his way to the ring here. This crowd is loving it. Maxim Bolotov, Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner, 30 years old. Official height, 185 centimeter. Official weight, 101 kilogram. His personal record, four wins, two losses. Winner of international fighting events from Belarus, Ole. Zablotsky! Fighting for the red corner, 33 years old, official height 188 centimeter, official weight 108 kilograms. His personal record, 14 wins, 4 losses. WPPA European and World Champion, European IDF Taekwondo Champion, Thai Boxing Club, Moldova, Maxi Bolotov! KOK Super Fight, Rick Reverend Andre Grosso, KOK Rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Round one. And we are underway here in this heavyweight encounter. Bolotov of Moldova in the white. And Zaplotsky of Belarus in the black. Heavy shots coming in from both guys here to open this up. Keep your eye on Bolotov. There's that spinning back kick. He does have quite an interesting martial arts background. And in fact, last time 
here in Moldova. Back in December 2017, he knocked out his opponent in the, the end of round number three with a standing sidekick right into the guts. Both guys look calm, relaxed, even happy as they were <laughs> coming out to the ring. But now it's time for war. Bolotov got backed up there momentarily as Zablotsky looking to get as close as he can. He's a couple centimeters shorter, so he's going to have to get past. Whoa! Going to have to get past those strikes, as I was about to say. Of Bolotov, he couldn't get past it that time. I told you this guy's got the KO power. Let's see where he goes from here. He's a patient fighter, though. He's not, he's the, not the kind of guy that's going to rush into things, is Bolotov. He's, here he comes, though. He senses that Zablotsky, perhaps, in a little bit of trouble here. He just very well may try to step on the gas. I've, I've never seen him try to rush things, though. Here it comes. Fight. Under a minute now. Is this thing going to make it to the end of the round or not? Do not hold. Fight. Here comes Bolotov. Wild strikes from all sorts of different angles. Fight. Bolotov may be looking to end this thing with an exclamation point here. Fight. Zaplotsky, he's in survival mode now. And rightfully so, he's running around the ring for his own safety. Well, for my safety, I hope they don't fall through the ropes here. Good Lord. That's a lot of beef in the ring right now. Stop. I wouldn't stand a chance Fight. trying to break their fall. Ten second hammer goes down, as does the axe kick. Fight. Ooh, he Die. caught him with a stinging left hand right at the end of the round there. Well, you can hear the song echoing throughout the arena here. Oleg Zaplotsky was thunderstruck in that first round. So that's going to be a 10-8 a round for Bolotov. Round number two coming up. And Oleg Zaplotsky of Belarus has got his work cut out for him here. Has this one minute in the corner been enough for him to get his wits about him and make a comeback? Or will Maxim Bolotov have lightning strike twice here in round number two? Heavyweight affair here at King of Kings World Grand Prix, volume 56 from Kishino, Moldova. Maxim Bolotov and Oleg Zablotsky. Looks like Zablotsky is feeling a little bit better in there now, but he's still not moving around as fluidly as he was in the beginning of the fight. So he takes another jab, in the top of the forehead. Left hand connects again. Zablotsky is the, the taller fighter on paper, but look at the massive upper body of Bolotov, the shoulders, the chest, the back. He has got some serious, serious power. Zablotsky would do well to stay away from that power, maybe use his reach advantage to keep the Moldovan at bay. Use those long range weapons, use the jabs, use the push kicks and circle and stay away. Use that ring, that's a big Stop. ring there. Time. Stop. 
circles and keep asking. Time, five. Zablotov, Zablotsky, excuse me, trying to get his footing in there. Bolotov again with another cracking low kick there. He's really finding the target with those low kicks now to the lead leg. And look at that shot. That is just a work of art. Telling you, some of these kicks from uh, Bolotov, the Taekwondo black belt, are really highlight reel shots. Ducks under that shot and lands another low kick. Nice shot to the guts that time as he kicked him right where that tattoo is on his liver. He's got a tattoo on his liver. That's almost like a target for Bolotov at this point. As he comes off the ropes, turns his opponent, tries to land a little right hand on the inside. Ooh, he caught him in the back of the head. That's not going to be a knockdown. 30 seconds left in round two. We've seen Bolotov get his hand raised and get stoppages late in the fight before. Like I said, he did it last time around, stopping his opponent late in round three. So if you think this thing is just going to coast to some kind of a decision, don't bet on it just yet. Time. This thing could still end in before the final bell. Take a look at some highlights from round three. Oh, well, there's a nice foot right in your face. As if life wasn't already miserable enough for Zablotsky. Bolotov was hitting him from all angles there in that third round. He was working the body, using good low kicks, powerful punches, some different Taekwondo kicks. Well, it was 10-8 in the first round. I think it was 10-9 in the second. So Zaplotsky has got his back against the wall here. He's going to need something big. Got two big heavyweight guys, so anything's possible. And like I said, Bolotov has finished more than one opponent late in the fight. So this thing is not guaranteed to just coast to a decision here. And don't count out Zablotsky just yet. He's got a lot of power too, but right now he looks a little bit shaky on his feet. Back into the red corner now. Bolotov sticks out the jab. Where is he going? Upstairs, downstairs. Axe kick that time, a modified axe kick. Came down at, a, at an angle. Fight. Zaplotsky said something to him. I don't know what language he was speaking, but the people here in Moldova understood. Third and final round here. Bolotov, keeping that left hand out there, measuring the distance. There's that side kick. That thing has a lot of power behind it, believe me. Some people think, eh, martial arts like Taekwondo, karate, really don't play too much of a role here in kickboxing. Well, believe me, I've seen people on the losing end of that side kick. Here comes Zablotsky. Zablotsky's got something about him here in this third right. round, doesn't he? He knows where he's at. I think he knows where he stands here in this fight. But he's having fun in there. One minute left on the clock. Bolotov 
getting busy now. Stop. Stop. Fight. Belotov lands a right hand, backs up the Belarusian. There's that low kick again, man. That thing is landing right in the same exact spot every time. You can see it just through the slit on the left side of his body on his shorts. Take a look at the reddening above the knee. That is brutal. I can see a big bag of ice in the near future on the leg of Zablotsky. Time running out here in this fight. Zablotsky uncorks a right hand, but it could be too little too late here. That's the end of the match. Well, Bolotov couldn't put him away in round number three, and Zablotsky did a great job of weathering the storm, and he made it to the end of the fight. But I would be absolutely shocked if he walks out of here the winner. Take a look at that shot. Some very good martial arts skills on display once again by Maxim Bolotov. Bolotov slowly but surely moving his way back up the rankings here in the heavyweight division. If he keeps this up, he could have a title opportunity in the near future. And right now, we will have the opportunity to get the official decision from ring announcer Urutis Kuzmenka. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Championship 2018, KOK Super Fight. After three rounds, by unanimous judge decision, the winner is Red Corner, Maxim Molotov. No surprises there. Bolotov gets the victory by unanimous decision and keeps the momentum going.